Karin-san saw it. Oh, Karin-san, this new One Piece looks so gorgeous. I know, right? This was the hottest item by far during the pre-sale in New York. I'm Yuri. I used to work as a dispatch worker for a foreign clothing company. It's our job to promote the merch. We're definitely going to sell a lot in Japan, too. Yes! Once I get my paycheck, I might get one of those for myself. Oh, that's Akane-san and Yasuria-san from the sales department. Don't you think the new arrivals are great? I saw them too. Can't wait to see how they sell. People who work at the sales department always look so good. They're totally on another level. So dazzling. Whoa! Oh! Hey, do you see that lame girl right there? Oh, I know her. I think she's a dispatch worker doing office work in marketing. Oh no, I'm embarrassed that dispatch workers like her are promoting our brand. I mean, look at her clothes. She has to wear baggy clothes to hide her unattractive body. So pathetic. I wouldn't be able to go outside with a straight face with that kind of physique. <sighs> hey, has anything gone wrong, Yuri-san? You don't seem to be your usual self. Um, uh, actually... No way! They actually said that to you? Yes, but it's alright. Compared to those two, I'm kind of out of shape. What are you talking about? You're perfect as you are. I'm going to talk about this to their boss, so just get it off your mind as quickly as possible, alright? Okay. After that, thanks to Karin-san, those two were scolded by their boss. However, that only added fuel to the fire. Ever since... Ugly. They made fun of me when we passed each other. Hey, that's the girl who's working as a prostitute, right? Oh no, she looks so dark and gloomy, but she's also a prostitute? They spread nonsensical rumors. They spitefully bullied me. My boss Karin-san kept standing up for me, but they never stopped harassing me. I ended up deciding to change jobs. I'm upset I have to do this, but I can't stand this anymore. It was one week before I was supposed to leave the company. Something unusual happened. Just a little more patience and I'm done. Huh? Wh what are they doing here? Usually there were only five or six security guards at our company. But on this day, there were more than ten of them. They had all gathered at the entrance. Morning, Yuri-san. Karin-san, good morning. Oh, are they? I was wondering why there were so many guards today. Is something going on? Hmm. The time must have come. Huh? Yuri-san, come with me. Our whole department must be in a panic by now. Huh? A panic? What's going on? Really? Oh? Why are there so many boxes piled on top of each other? This is crazy! What shall we do? My god, why can't I connect to the internet? I can't send a single email! Have we got connection issues now? Hey! Someone contact the IT department! What happened? I can't connect to the internet! So we've got network communication issues? No. This was probably done deliberately. Huh? Wait, what are you... Oh, there's the CEO. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been decided from today on, the apparel brand Etra will be closing all of its stores in Japan. As for this department, there's some work left to be done, so everyone will be fired in one month. Ah! What? We hadn't been told anything! It was such a sudden dismissal. I've heard about how some foreign companies fire people so easily, but I never imagined it to be so sudden. <gasps> Karin-san, did you know about this? That they were withdrawing from Japan? Uh-huh. What? I wasn't 100% sure, but I had a call from a friend who works overseas in the same industry. Karin, this is big news. My boss told me that Etra may be leaving Japan. Hello? Therefore, I was preparing myself, but I'm surprised at how they fired us all at once. <sighs> no way! You gotta be kidding! We never heard anything about this! And why are we supposed to leave our bags and shoes? That's something that the company landed you. You have to leave everything behind. This has to be a joke. How are we supposed to get on with our lives? Um, I think that's none of our business. You should have told us beforehand anyway! That way, we could have found new jobs. How are we going to make ends meet until we find a new job? Calm down now. Why don't you start off by going to an employment, Baru? Sorry, but you really have to leave. This is terrible! 
school. I don't even have any savings. We're going to sue this company. We're going to sue this company. We really are. Yes, we are. Oh, boy. Employees of the sales department seem to be losing their jobs today. Karin san, are you fine with this? Yep, no problem. I actually found a new job. I've already handed in my resignation notice. Of course, the rumors were one reason I did so. But more so, I thought it was time to step up my career. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. The people who were told to leave on the spot put all their things into the boxes and... Once they sent those off, they left the company whining and moaning. <laughs> I'm so glad I already found a job. When all the remaining duties were taken care of, Metro Japan vanished without a sight. The final month passed by like a storm. Two years have passed. Yuri-san, when you finish doing that, I'd like you to handle number 35. Understood. At my new workplace, I learned how to tailor again from scratch. Recently, I've finally been able to work as a pattern maker. I'm still in contact with Karin-san. We meet up at cafes every now and then. Can't wait to see her soon. I already told you, a woman named Yuri. I heard she works here. Just get her over here. Huh? Akane-san and Yasuriya-san? Hey, there she is. It's her. Hey, we heard that you were working here. You must be getting paid really good, especially at such a nice company. Now lend us some money. What? Um, you just arrived here. What are you even saying? You coward! We heard that you knew about the company leaving Japan, and you didn't even tell us a single word. What a piece of trash you are. If you feel sorry at all, you should be able to lend us some money. Yuri-san, what's going on? Katsuri-san, actually, these people are from my former workplace. Pay us right now! Consolation money! Aha! The people who kept bullying you to kick you out of the company! So pathetic. I mean, how old are they? Huh? Stop putting it like that! She left of her own will! Not only that, she left without- Excuse me. We'll talk to you over there. I suggest you behave yourselves, or we'll have to call the police. What do you want? Grr. Are you alright? Yes. Surprisingly, not only did they find out where I work, but they even showed up to pester me even more. I was so confused. It's been two years and that's how we met each other again. Oh, those girls. They called me too. We aren't the only victims. Apparently, they're asking every single former colleague for some money. Huh? But why do they seem so desperate? It's been two years. They have to have a job by now, right? How could they be so poor? Oh, Metro paid really well. They couldn't lower their living standards, and their revolving credit card debts just kept on snowballing until then. Revolving payment, huh? Enough about those two. How are you getting on, Yuri-chan? Is your job as a pattern maker going well? Yeah, it is. Since that happened, they never came back to my company. I guess the security guards really chewed them out. I swore to save up money so that I never go into debt like those two, and try not to cause trouble for other people. <laughs> ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。外資系のお話とか、私には全く縁のない話なので全然わからないですが、こんなに前触れもなく解雇にされてしまうんですね。恐ろしいです。それにしても、高級品かつ自分のお気に入りのブランドになってしまうと、なかなか他のものを使い